Hey, it's Denise from LimaHead.com and on this video, I'm going to show you how to make baby booties. We're going to start by marking our loom and you don't need to do this, but I promise it makes life a whole lot easier. Alright, let's make a slip knot. The slip knot is another one of those things that you don't really have to do. If you can't do the slip knot, then just wrap the working yarn around that anchor peg. Then wrap all your pegs. When you're done wrapping the 12 pegs, now we're going to start with the U-wrap knit stitch. And it's basically you're going to half wrap the peg. And then with your hook, you're going to take that bottom loop over the top and knit off. Now you're going to do this for all 12 pegs. Once you're done knitting that cast on, now we're going to do the cuff. And for that, you're going to knit 14 rows of the U-Wrap Knit Stitch. After a few rows, don't forget to take that slip knot off your anchor peg. Now it's time to fold up the cuff. Turn the loom over to find that first row of knitting. It's those loose loops and this uh, slip knot. Push that bottom to the top. Find the string that was the slip knot and get a crochet hook. Feed the crochet hook through one of the loops and then grab that loose yarn and feed it through that loop and you don't need to do this it's just gonna make things look better get a pair of scissors and cut off some of the excess of that yarn don't cut all of it off just leave some about an inch and then we're gonna push that into the fold grab those big loose loops and mount them back on the loom some of them are going to be really, really loose. Um, these are the first ones, so pull on them a little bit so that you have some of that excess yarn left over for the last ones that get really tight and hard to put back on. Make sure that the bottom loop is the one that was on the peg and the one that you just put on is on the top. Knit off the first peg and pull on your working yarn to tighten things up and now go ahead and knit off all 12 pegs. The next step is to knit four more rows of the U-Wrap Knit Stitch to create the ankle and then we're going to move on to knitting flat in order to create the heel and we're only going to use six pegs. So let's start by knitting five of those six pegs. When you're done knitting those five pegs, you're going to half wrap peg number six and you're turning around. We are in the process of decreasing and now on this direction, we're only going to knit four. Now you're back at the beginning, you're going to half wrap that very first peg, which is peg number one, and now we're heading in the opposite direction, and we're only going to knit three pegs. When you reach the fifth peg, you're going to again turn around and you're gonna go in the opposite direction. Number six already has a wrap, so you're putting a wrap on peg number five, and now you're gonna knit only two pegs. All right, you've wrapped those, uh, you've knit those two pegs, and now you're back at the front, so you're gonna half wrap that second peg, which is peg number two, and you're turning around, and it's time now to start the increase process. 
So now you have two loops on the first two and two loops on the last two. And now as we increase, we're gonna knit three pegs, including one of those that has two wraps. Don't worry about it, just knit those two over the one. You're gonna wrap peg number six, which is gonna leave it with three loops, and that's okay. And now we're knitting in the opposite direction, and because we're increasing, we're gonna knit four pegs, including peg number two, which has two loops, and that's okay. Just take those two loops right over the top, wrap peg number one, and turn around, you're knitting now in the opposite direction. Knit five pegs. When you reach that fifth peg, things look a bit different, right? Um, you have three loops on six and three loops on one. You need to knit off all three. You can do it all at one time or one loop at a time. And then you're gonna tighten your stitch in the back. Now we're gonna do a technique to reinforce the sock and avoid holes. And the way we're gonna do that is that we're going to pick up that loop on peg number seven, which is the peg next to that last one that you did, and mount that on peg number six. Now before you do that, make sure that your working yarn is behind your pegs, and then take that loop and mount it on peg number six. You have two loops on it now, and you're gonna wrap your working yarn around peg number seven, which is where you just picked up that other loop from. And then take those two loops on six and knit them over. And now you're gonna start knitting in the opposite direction. You're gonna knit six pegs, which included uh, peg number six. So now we're on the other end now we're on the front of the loop and we on the loom and we are going to repeat this procedure we're going to knit off those three loops on peg one and find that loop that is on the peg next to it which is peg 12 and you're going to pick up that loop and remember to make sure that your working yarn is behind your pegs pick up that loop and you're gonna mount it on peg number one. Okay, there we go. And it's a little tough, but you know, you guys can manage. I got faith in you. All right, now you have two loops. Now you're gonna half wrap peg number 12 and you're heading now in the opposite direction. And at this point, you're gonna knit all 12 pegs. So you're knitting in the round and you're gonna knit the whole loom. After the heel, which is the hardest part, is done, you'll see a little bump right there. And if you turn the loom around, you'll see the cuff. And over the cuff, you'll see that little bump on the heel. And now it's time to move on to your foot slash toe. And to do this, you will need to knit 10 rows of the U-Wrap Knit Stitch. When you're done with your 10 rows of knitting, it's time to close the sock. Woohoo! And all you're gonna do is take that working yarn and wrap it around the loom. Get your scissors, cut that excess yarn. And now you have a, two ways that you can close this. Well, there's lots of ways, but anyway. One of them is you can take your hook and feed your working yarn through every loop, okay? Or you can decide that maybe you rather use a yarn needle. And in that case, take your needle and thread it with that working yarn. 
And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna feed your yarn, but you're gonna do it from the bottom. You're feeding your yarn upward with your needle until you have done this with every peg. Use your hook to get the loops off of the loom. Pull the working yarn to close the hole and stretch out the stitches. Feed the needle through the little hole and turn your uh, sock inside out. Now you're going to sew in a circular direction. When you're done sewing, then with the working yarn, you're going to create a little knot. Try to tighten it as close to the fabric as you possibly can. You're going to get your scissors then and you're going to cut off any excess yarn. And that little bit that's left over, you're going to push it in between your stitches. So you're weaving those ends in as best as you can. Now turn your little sock back around and you're going to see that your stitches are nice and tight and that you have no holes. When you use the U-wrap stitch, you will have to pull on those stitches for them to look right. And feel free to add or subtract rows in order to more custom fit your little sock. Okay, you're done. Till next time.